Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. All right, well, so uh, going with the old flanges, which look like that, this is a new one, uh, I built the receivers for the flanges, and we welded them in place like we're expected to do. We purchased this the flange with the exact same number on it, and the flange came over and it doesn't fit. The, uh, the holes are a bit too wide. So, uh, rather than turn them back in and wait for three or four weeks for these damn things to show up, I thought, well, maybe we could just make an adjustment. And so, uh, we're over on the mill right now making that adjustment. I've already done one. You can kind of see what we've done is just kind of moved in a little bit um, and cut a new hole. And that pretty much gets us where we want to go. Now well, the one thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to trim each washer but you know that's pretty minor compared to uh, the other alternative. So let's go over to the mill and uh, we'll cut one of these out. And, uh, and as I we'll said, we've there. already cut one or we've cut two of them out. So uh, we're all set up and ready to go. All we have to do is drop this sucker in here, run it up against our stop back in here, and we're ready to rip. Now I have used the DRO um, pattern, uh, hole pattern uh, function, and it seems like it's working just fine. So uh, we're continuing to go with that function. One thing we're gonna do is we're working with cast iron, so I'm just dropping a piece of paper in there to, to catch most of the crumblings. Well, hell, it seems like it's going to take forever for this thing to drill through. But, you know, I'm having to, having to go very gently because if it grabs wrong, uh, it'll tear the hell out of the hole, maybe break the bit, and certainly maybe break the casting. So we're going to go slow and take it easy. Okay, well, uh, we're going to begin the assembly process, the, the elongated assembly process. All the parts haven't shown up. This motor hasn't shown up, and the main motor hasn't shown up. But there's other things we can do. So uh, one thing is putting the flanges in. Those will go in pretty easy. I uh, ended up taking off a corner off of uh, the washer so that uh, it fits.
We got some nuts. All right, and uh, because when I took this other, the original frame apart, every bolt was loose. So we're gonna kind of goose this a little bit by introducing Loctite into the equation. And we're going to just leave it loose because we're going to put a shaft in here at some point and uh, it's going to have to fit. And so here's our keyed shaft. Let's see if it's going to go in without any trouble. Looks pretty good. And the nice thing about uh, the floating bearing is uh, you can adjust it. All right, well, that's, we don't have to fight that in right just yet. There's more to come. So one of these goes this way. Well, at the fast-forward speed, it kind of looks like I'm beating the hell out of that thing. The fact is, is that I'm just barely tapping it with that brass um, slammer. So, uh, and it just kind of, I have to find the, the floating um, exact center. Okay, it's all set. Everything has to be left loose because we don't know where all the sprockets are going to land just yet. But we got the general idea set up here. We'll be back.
goes forward. Well, this is Todd, and uh, he's uh, been helping me all along with this build. And uh, but he's a bit camera shy, so um, so he's agreed to uh, film the assembly. But you're probably not going to see him. Uh, so hey, follow along. So because things uh, were loose as we uh, took the old unit apart, um, we have decided to put Loctite on every bolt. And these particular bolts are going to take uh, Loctite extra strong because eh, they're probably never going to be taken out again. So that's what Todd's doing, putting Loctite on, making it solid.
going. The one I did yesterday worked. You got it all the way in? Mm -hmm. Back there? This, yeah, I mean yesterday. No, I mean the thing. Yeah. Do you have the, the hub all the way in? Yeah. All the bolts are in? The other side, I do it the other way, like we glue it to here. I mean, glue it to here first, and then I press the whole thing on. Yeah, probably you're going to have to take the hub back off. Because now you're down, you can't dig it back out. So you're saying you want it level, not all the way down? It has to be level, yeah. Correct. That's fine. Yeah. Should we read it up there? Yeah. Okay, well, because the seal didn't go in correctly, so now we had to take this thing back out, and now we got the seal in right, and we're going to put this back in with the seal in place. the other hand up here. Yeah. There we go. Bring it down. There we go. Yeah. Put a bolt in and then we'll flip it and see what it looks like. I got it. I it too. Okay, I'll excite her now. Let me do two. Now before you go any farther, let's make sure that this thing is going to rotate because it looks like it almost hits that nut. That's okay, but the nut is... Mm. It might hit the nut. It needs to tighten down. Yeah, let's tighten it down and see what happens. something. Yeah, is that a washer? <laughs> it yeah, is. It's a bolt. Okay. Yeah, it sounded loose. All right. Now, still hitting. So we need to take that bolt down a little bit, or that nut down a little bit. Let's take it out. Yep. Okay. That's not good. Thanks. The others turned okay. Just this one. Mm -hmm. I hope they turned okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've turned them. Okay. Gotta be kidding me. Betcha it's a washer. See anything? There's a the washer. There's the washer. But I don't think that was it. Yeah. Uh oh. That came out. Yeah. Well, we can put that back in. It's no problem. Let's see, go. It goes behind the the, the uh, black the rubber. All right, I'll do it.